seen his vehicle at the old scout hall and I said to him, um, what's going on there? And he said, oh, we're starting the men's shed. And I said, well, when do I start? And he said, well, you can come along Wednesday if you like. So I'm uh, Ron Code from Violet Town and uh, I enjoy mixing with other fellas and helping them where I can. Um, yeah, so that's a part of the deal. I'm John Broadhurst. I'm the co coordinator of the Violet Town Men's Shed. <laughs> I decided to uh, take up an offer that was made to me by the community house coordinator and that was to uh, start up a men's shed. A normal day is a fairly busy day from start to finish and um, you know you can see people doing stuff they like doing and, uh, and that sort of gives me a bit of a kick to know that we're helping other fellas that are perhaps down and out a little bit and uh, after a few weeks here you can't, you can't believe it was the same guy that came, first come along to you and, and said he'd like to be in the men's shed, you know, so um, it's, it's good for everybody. I'm Frank Curry and I do enjoy coming in here uh, and two or three lathes sitting around and when anybody wants anything that's got to be round, I seem to be uh, called on to find a piece of wood and see what I can do. George Hone, my name is. And I come from uh, Meerpol. I only come down here three, three uh, days, you know. But um, apart from that, I do nothing else. Peter Bentley from Warren Bain. Don't mind coming here. Gets me off the street. <laughs> Giving other fellows a hand. Like, if they need a bit of hand with woodwork, I do a bit of that. And do a bit of welding. My name is John George Collins. I'm a former Queenslander, but don't hold that against me. <laughs> Only in state of origin football. <laughs> There's quite a few different projects go out of the men's shed, and mainly with the bird boxes, uh, which is about the only source of income into the men's shed. Yeah, well, they've got the garden down the back, uh, do rocking horses. There's only been five done at the moment, but I've got one on the table still. I built, a, I built them some birds. There's a chap here who says that uh, I've got a lot of confidence in, in what I do. And what I do, he said, what I see your work, this is very good. The birds is uh, galahs with white and yellow on them. There's um, rosella parrots. I'm usually by myself doing nothing, sitting home doing nothing, and falling asleep, which I don't like doing. They've got me doing something, like well, could be doing, doing mowing one day, gunning the next, uh, doing something in the shed today, something in the shed next day. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I do. The main attraction here is morning teas. It's, it's the company you can uh, enjoy them. There's always a bit of a discussion regarding things that have happened during the last week. Yeah, we have a bit of chinwag. See we've done the last week. What we're going to do hopefully next week. We have had some insane days here uh, with the laughter level and the, and the jokes and just totally out of control and that's when the first and that happened quite early really and that's when the name grumpy and insane men shed came along because there have been times here when the place is absolutely insane you know there's, there's always jokes happening and yeah 15 here for smoko it's absolute mayhem because often there's five conversations and they're across the table diagonally and the noise level is unbelievable but we have our serious days, occasionally, and most of the time it's just, yeah, what's happening? We discuss world affairs occasionally. We haven't been able to stop the war in Syria yet. But... Well, I've made quite a few friends that I probably wouldn't have made otherwise because uh, I just wasn't in the same place as they were. We live about... Uh, 20 k's out of Violet Town, so...
we might have five here working, but five to ten, there's anything up to 15 in the ship. So that's where the friendship all comes in. When I originally came here, I was down in the dumps. Now, no troubles now. Well, it's felt good for me. Uh, it's just brought the spirit back to the body. Yeah, I think I'm actually a better person than when I first came here. Yeah, certainly socially. I'm not in a hurry at the moment to, to give this job away because I'd have to say it's probably the best job I've ever had. Um, yeah, I hope it's here forever because I think communities need places like this. So yeah, it's been a, a wonderful thing for the men that have been sitting on farms doing nothing. And I think every, every town in Australia should have one. Yeah. I, I'd advise everybody to spend a, an hour a day at the men's ship and make it quarter 10 to quarter 11. It's, I'm sure they'd enjoy it.